In this video, we'll guide you through how to perform the capacitance and dissipation factor test for current transformers using the Kavash T22 Plus device. To begin the test, connect the device to a power source, turn it on, and input the CT information into the manager section. To begin, navigate to the current transformer test menu and select the TAN Delta test option. From the point menu, you can choose the specific point where the test will be performed. The test mode option allows you to decide whether to save the test results manually or automatically through the software. For the reference capacitor, you can select either internal, which refers to the Kavash T22 Plus S built-in reference capacitor, or external, if you wish to use an external capacitor. You can also choose the test mode from this menu. If the current transformer has a test terminal, the TDM1 device can be used in UST mode. This setup is shown in the figure. If there is no test terminal, GST mode can be used instead. Using the V-test option, you can set the applied voltage value. It's recommended to set the number of average points, which indicates the number of measurement points used to generate the final result, to 1. You can enter the oil temperature using the corresponding option, and the correction factor will automatically adjust the results to reflect the reference temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. To minimize noise interference, the frequency of the injected voltage should differ from the nominal frequency. By default, it's set to 53 Hz, but this value can be adjusted if needed. Through the error settings option, you can choose to ignore certain errors that might appear during the test, but it's important to consult with our after-sales service experts before making any changes. A wiring diagram is available to guide you on how to connect the cables properly. In the shown figures, the correct connections for the voltage injection and measurement cables are displayed. Once all settings are configured, click Run to start the test. The voltage and current outputs will be displayed in real time. If you selected manual mode, once the final results for capacitance and dissipation factor are displayed, the Keep Result option will appear. Clicking this will save the results. The final results will include the selected test point, the test mode, the frequency, the output voltage and current, the measured capacitance, the measured dissipation factor, and the dissipation factor adjusted for the reference temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Important Tips When testing the current transformer, make sure the F-terminal is isolated from the ground Ensure the other end of the cable is securely connected to the equipment under test using the designated clamp. Keep in mind that up to 50 cm below the clamp, the high voltage cable has no protective shielding, so this section must never come close to the ground. Make sure the current transformer is completely disconnected from the network and de-energized. Verify that the tank of the CT is properly grounded. Ensure the outer surface of the CT insulator is dry and avoid testing in high humidity conditions. Disconnect the burden from the secondary side of the CT before testing. For more tutorials, you can follow us on the website www.espagroup.com.